Hello, Douglas County. I'm Rick Martin, Director of Communications and Community Relations for Douglas County, Georgia, and the Public Information Officer for the Fire Department. Welcome to today's edition of Douglas County's COVID-19 Update with Dr. Janet Meemark, the District Director of Cobb and Douglas Public Health. Welcome, Dr. Meemark. How are you today? I'm great, Rick. Thanks for having me. Well, thanks for being here. Well, today's Friday, May 21st. And what are the current COVID-19 numbers in Douglas County? So, you know, up to this point, I've been cautiously optimistic, but I can say that I'm, I'm working towards being very optimistic now. Um, over this last few weeks, we've seen our numbers come down, and so we are down to 145 cases per 100,000. So that's pretty good. Um, you know, you, you know, 100 cases per 100,000 is still considered high, but we are working our way down. And um, just to remind everybody, during the big surge, we were up to 1,400 cases per 100,000. Also, the positivity rate, that's the number of tests that are coming back positive, is down to 4.9%. Also, that one was well over 25% during the surge. So for, for every one um, in four cases before we're coming back positive, now we only have um, just under five cases per 100 that are coming back positive. So that's pretty good. And so we keep, we keep working our way down with these numbers. So it's great. That is great. So we're making progress uh, as a county then. Yeah, we are, but I, I do want to remind everybody we still have high transmission going on and we still have those variants to worry about. Um, last time we checked, it was at 71% of the um, specimens that were being turned in were positive for the B117 um, variant that originated in the UK. This is a very, very highly infectious um, variant of COVID-19 and it is in circulation in our community right now. So we still got to be careful. Okay. Good advice in terms of being careful and cautious. Dr. Meemark, is the vaccination rate still dropping in Douglas County? And are you concerned that we might see a rise in COVID cases? Yeah, so we continue to um, increase our vaccination rate a little bit at a time in Douglas County. We're at 23% right now that are fully vaccinated. Um, I'm a little concerned because the Georgia uh, average is 31% and the national average is closer to 50. So we're, we're really behind on the vaccinations because we're leaving 77% of our folks that are completely unprotected. And so I'm quite concerned because, you know, we still have the variants that are, are circulating. And so we got 77% of our community that is actually susceptible to um, getting one of the COVID variants. And if we continue to let the variants, you know, kind of fester, there's always a chance a new mutation will come out and then they won't work against the, the vaccine or they can be more deadly than the original um, cases. So we, I am concerned and encourage everybody to get vaccinated as soon as possible. So Dr. Meemark, I understand that the vaccination site at Arbor Place Mall has moved inside the building where Sears previously was. How is it going at that location? Oh, so I went by this morning and it's Fabulous. So it is really awesome. Um, everybody is comfortable. And you know, what's interesting is um, my staff is actually saying that they're seeing less people um, have any sort of like, um, you know, anxiety or any kind of reactions at all. And it's so it's going extremely well. It's super fast. They told me that with the observation time, you're in and out in 20 minutes. So it's amazing. And they're doing a fabulous job. Wow, that's great to hear. So with the recent news of uh, kids under 18 um, able to get the vaccine, can citizens 12 years old and up get a vaccine at this location? Absolutely. So it, remember, it is only the Pfizer vaccine that 12 year olds and up are eligible to get um, the COVID vaccine. So at Arbor Place Mall, we do have the Pfizer vaccine available. You can get your first dose, your second dose um, and come on over there. We can, you can just walk right up and get it. And we saw lots of children there today. And my own child will be getting um, her vaccine very soon as well. So um, it's very well tolerated in, um, in the young people, the 12 to uh, 17 year olds. Uh, they have very few side effects and they do extremely well. So it's going very well. And they had 100% coverage and protection against COVID. So very good news. I'm hearing that there are people in Douglas County that don't want to get the vaccination because of potential long-term effects and other people saying that they don't need the vaccine because they already had COVID and have antibodies. 
Are you hearing this as well? And what are your thoughts? Yeah, so I know some people are concerned about possible long-term effects of um, of the vaccination and, and, and about how it was developed and, you know, supposedly how quickly and things like that. So um, I wanted to clarify some of that. So uh, first of all, the vaccine technology, although it's a new technology for the vaccines, um, it's actually been studied for quite a while. mRNA vac um, technology has been studied for about 14 years. And so, you know, the, the federal government just helped to remove barriers so that they they could go ahead and, and do the testing that they needed to do without all the kind of bureaucratic barriers for that. So the, it has been proven to be safe. And it, you know, up to this point, we've done over 250 million vaccines across the country, and they have been extremely safe. So we don't know what the long, long-term effects would be, and we don't anticipate a whole lot, but we already know what the long-term long -term effects of COVID are, right? Some of those long-haul symptoms and people that are having problems way after they um, have should have recovered from COVID. So, you know, so we know that the vaccines are safe. So definitely that is something that um, you should feel pretty good about. The second part of your question was about those that had COVID. And I've heard this many times as well, that, you know, I had COVID, so I don't need to get the vaccination. Well, that is not true. So remember, your antibodies for COVID, they only last, you know, 90 days. And if you're one of those really lucky ones that get to eight to nine months, that's great. But that's not usually how it works. And so anybody who has had COVID, um, after 10 days, if you're feeling okay, you can get vaccinated. And we have studies that should show that your antibodies will shoot right back up again, your protection. So it's very important that you go ahead and get the vaccine because you will lose your protection and then you are going to be um, vulnerable to all, all of the variants. But if you get the vaccine, you'll be protected against all the variants. So very, very important to, to go ahead and get that vaccine. And that is some valuable information for all who is watching right now. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anything else, Dr. Meemark, you would like to say to the residents of Douglas County? Yeah, you know, we've been doing really well. And I really believe that it is because of our vaccinations and, and all the prevention that we have done. When you look at other counties that have lower rates of COVID-19 compared to Douglas County, many times you will see a higher rate of vaccination, right? So we are still in the higher range for having COVID cases. And so it only makes sense that the way that we bring that down is to go ahead and have higher rates of vaccination as well. And then we're gonna be in that below 100 rate in a, in a safer place that we can all go back to doing all the things that we wanna do safely. That makes so much sense. Dr. Meemark, I can't thank you for joining us enough, providing us with great details and information for our Douglas County citizens. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you and everybody get vaccinated.